Well, everyone, I'll I'll quickly bring you the history's strongest disciple, chapter five five six. Actually, this was only any more. Uh, that was actually only mushy. It was uh, some things were coming clean up. That Okamoto guy is still a mysterious, but he still have good leadership. His leadership skills look similar to Nijima. Oh, I'm sorry if you hear a. Uh, an uh, after sound out there. I think I'll talk a little more closely like this. And um uh and then uh Takeda reveals uh, that uh Mew's uh, father is the one shadow, but Mew apparently already knew because well the Ryun Sampakto guys are quite bad at holding secrets. But uh uh, Kenichi is still a little bit nervous about going to the war, but reveals also that he is glad that he did martial arts because without it he would not have met the other guys and they once again reaffirm their friendship saying they're gonna do however they're not the main forces they are espionage I was actually wondering what is what they're what uh, what is it that they're gonna do and I was right they were they're gonna attack the enemy's missile system and render the base powerless that's and Nijima is the guy. Nijima is usually a guy who wants glory, but here he is the one who says, "Do not get glory." Probably because he's a coward and all that stuff. But um, that uh, means that the Shinpaku Alliance is actually the only one who can dispel the base. And it would be funny if Nijima could actually steal the gold and uh, everything else. Niji Kenji is glad that he uh, did the martial arts. Mu apologizes a little bit to. Kenichi for involving him in martial arts. However, Kenichi assures her that he's glad he is in martial arts. Without it, he would not have met his first friends. But he still denies that. Uh, but he still says that meeting Nijima was the worst thing in his life. <laughs> Even though he's saying that missile plan and all that is is actually not a bad idea and trustworthy uh, from Nijima. With that, they are saying they're finally gonna surface and reach the rest with the boat. So, hopefully next week we will finally get some actions. The only reason I did this was because I was going to once again inform you that now everyone and the disciples know that Saiga Furinji is the one shadow. And the Mew actually won wonders if if he is the one who killed her mother. We will, we will know in this arc, perhaps. Somehow, somehow, the way they talk in this arc almost suggests this will be the final arc in the manga. Even though there are still some loose ends left. We just have to wait and see, right? Just hope it will, we will get some action soon. See you around.